Promotions. This video is for class four science, and today also today we will continue with the next question. We have already started with the question answers. Today we will start. Today I will write question, answers for question number three, four, five, and so on. So answer number three. The question says, explain the structure of a leaf with the help of a diagram. So I will write the ex explanation. You have to draw the diagram after that. So the flat and broad part of a leaf is called. Lamina. The part that links the leaf to the stem is called petiole. A central vein called the midrib divides the leaf into two equal parts there are number of tiny channels called veins that helps to transport that helps to transport water and minerals to each and every part of the leaf it has small opening called stomata for exchange of gases so this is the structure of the leaf the, the flat and broad part of a leaf is called lamina the part that links the leaf to the stem is called petiole. It has a central vein called midrib that divides the that divides the leaf into two equal parts. There are there are number of tiny channels called veins that helps to transport water and minerals to each and every part of the leaf. It has small opening called openings called stomata for exchange of gases. This is the structure, and below this. You have to draw the light. You have to draw the picture of a picture of the leaf. You have to draw the diagram of a leaf, and you have to label the different parts. Which part is lamina? Which part is the petiole? Which part is the midrib? You have to mark that. So I hope you have understood this. Please note this down so that we can move to the next question. Question number four. Now I ask you, what are the useful things that we get from plants? So, I'm writing the answer for you. The useful 
things that we get from plants are number one we get most of our food from plant we get most of our food from plants we get food from plants we get oxygen from plants we get medicine from plants and number 4 number 5 Number five, we get rubber and gum from plants. So, the useful things that we get from plants are: we get most of our food from plants, we get wood from plants, we get oxygen from plants, we get medicine from plants, we get rubber and gum from plants. So these are the useful things. There are many more, but you can write this five. So please note this down. Now question number five: What is photosynthesis? How does it take place? the process of making food the process of making food by the plants using sunlight Comma, water and carbon dioxide in the presence of chlorophyll in the presence of chlorophyll is known as photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis the process of making food by the plants using sunlight water and carbon dioxide in the presence of chlorophyll is known as photosynthesis now they have given you one more part how does it take place you will change the paragraph and it takes place when the leaves take carbon dioxide when the leaves take carbon dioxide from air and combine it with water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll sunlight and chlorophyll to make 
फोन फॉर द होल प्लान सो दिस इज योर आंसर सो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज फॉटोसिंथिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग फूड बाय द प्लांट्स यूजिंग सनलाइट वाटर एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल इज नोन एज फोटोसिंथिस एंड हाउ डज इट टेक प्लेस it takes place when the leaves take carbon dioxide from the air from air and combine it with water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to make food for the whole plants so this is your answer so children please note this down and for today we will keep it till here in the next class we will write the i will write the remaining two answers for you so for today up to this much thank you class